Well, we had the pleasure to have with us Captain Amir Wagiha, the squash head coach, and we hope that next time, inshallah, we are going to speak about more and more Egyptian victories. Now, uh, before saying goodbye, I will leave you with this exclusive interview with uh, a Major General Ahmad Nasser, the head or the president of the Egyptian African and Arab Federations of uh, Triathlon, to speak with us more about uh, this these competitions which took place in the Red Sea Resort of Sharm el Sheikh. Till we meet again same time on Nal TV International. Many thanks for watching. With all my love, this was. We are very much delighted to have with us the president of the Egyptian Arab and African Triathlon Federations, uh, Major General Ahmed Nasser. Thank you very much for being with us, sir. Thank you very much for having me in your uh, show. Thank you for hosting us and thanks for the huge uh, triathlon events, African, Arab and Egyptian. But you know what was really amazing to find all these age categories? I mean, we can find athletes from five years old to the seniors. Tell me about the preparations and to what extent this is sending a message uh, that triathlon is becoming really such a popular game. Thank you very much. The message is that uh, Egypt have it all, has it all. Egypt can organize any competition anytime. Egypt has uh, the utmost uh, sports facilities. Uh, I hope I'm not exaggerating very much of saying that all over the world. Uh, Egypt is one of the countries has uh, almost for the first time ever in the history have 80% of the sports infrastructure to host Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, really I'm very proud of that also proud of the our Egyptian uh, people that as you have uh, said and you have seen and you're still hearing the people that all the uh, kids and the middle age and the old age uh, and the parents everybody it was like uh, at the family of triathlon and as you know tri is a three and uh, thlone is the sport so the sport of three events which is uh, swimming biking running and uh, of course there is different races uh, in the composition like having a uh, uh, aquathlon which is uh, uh, swimming and running and then we have in uh, duathlon uh, riding uh, sorry riding a bike and uh, uh, running so uh, uh, we i am very proud that we are hosting here uh, over 37 countries in uh, over uh, 600 people in different categories uh, it was really wonderful and i just would like to dedicate uh, a great uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart to his excellency professor dr ashraf subhi the minister of youth and sport and in the occasion i would like to congratulate him as uh, elected uh, anonymously uh, president of all the uh, uh, Arab uh, sports and youth president and also president of the uh, executive uh, office which is the first time ever to happen in uh, the uh, uh, sports and youth uh, 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 elections in the uh, Arab League. Uh, well in the meantime I'd like to dedicate my thanks to my dear friend and my dear colleague and the governor of uh, uh, South Sinai, uh, His Excellency Minister uh, uh, Khalid Fouda for uh, his really great support and announcing in 23 that uh, Sharm el Sheikh is the uh, city of triathlon and now every year we are having uh, an event which is annually uh, already on the calendar whether in April or May and then uh, uh, very happy to have uh, the elite uh, people in uh, the race and also it is qualification to the Olympic Games. Uh, one final question regarding the big family we are in because you were also very keen to honor public figures, media figures, journalists. I mean, speaking about this um, opportunity, not only at a sports event, but sports, cultural, social, everything or this is something which you were used to and this is the way you would like every single occasion you are shouldering its responsibility to be shown to the world. Well, thank you very much for the remark. It is very important that uh, what you have mentioned of elements is very important for the sport. A sport is a soft power. Uh, art 
and culture are soft power. So what we are looking for, not to be powerful, but to be together to be powerful. So having uh, uh, such opportunity to have our celebrity people in here, whether from the culture, whether, as you kindly mentioned, from the media or any other field, it's a great honor and pleasure. And mixing the top athletes with the top celebrities of uh, movies or whatever or even a culture definitely and even the key people that they are here the the president of the culture of uh, Egyptian African and Arab and member of the International Federation was here uh, uh, Mr. Ashraf Mahmoud uh, his excellency Dr. Ahmed El Banani the former uh, minister uh, of, of a sport was very much supportive all the way it's not because we are together in, in uh, African Association Sports Confederation but he believes 100% that he is a member of this family and the rest of the journalists that they are here they witnessed how did we start in 2009 mm -hmm. and they are witnessing now we started with like 20 people mm -hmm. now we have 600 people participating and last year was even with COVID thanks to my country Egypt that I had 1,000 people no single case we are expecting much, much more stories of success to come. Sir, thank you very much for being with us. You are always an added value to our screen. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for your uh, nice compliment. And I really appreciate it. And I'm honored also always to be on Nile TV International and with you, Nermeen, and with uh, Dr. Mohamed Rabia. Thank you, sir. Thank you.